Well, I've got a little bit of a follow-up to yesterday's video before we get into the sweet baby stuff. All of this just shows how bad these media journalists really are, especially the gaming journalists who do stuff like this all the time. But everybody's favorite Kotaku blogger, Alyssa Mercanti here, decided that she was going to put an open invite out to anybody to, quote, come fight me. That's what she said. She said it on Giant Bombs podcast or whatever that was. And they all clapped. It was Frosk 2.0, basically. Well, multiple people, not just Vera Dark. There was another YouTuber that that uh, accepted the challenge. Uh, Mara Jade here, showing off her her trophies. I think probably for maybe, I can't read the thing, kickboxing. Or, or maybe it says martial arts club. So uh, she's obviously skilled at, at fighting. And... Alyssa just blocked them. <laughs> she blocked them. It was funny. She posted pictures of herself flexing, too. Do you really want some of me? Yeah, they did. And Keemstar got involved, said he would set it up. She said no, and then started moving the goalposts around for details of the fight and what she wanted to fight. You're the one that challenged all of them. You don't get to make all of these details. But that's where we were at. So <laughs> she blocked me, and reblocked me when I was calling her out in her post, which I thought was funny. So she ran. She's going to keep doing this stuff. Who she really wants is Melanie Mack. Melanie Mack, she's tried to get to fight her a few times. And Melanie said, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. The only reason Alyssa wants to do that is for clout. I, I wonder actually now at this point, if Melanie Mack said, you know what? Okay, let's do it. She would probably move the goalposts on that one too. So uh, she's not as tough as she likes to make it out to people that she is. I think she's actually kind of a coward, but you know, it is what it is. So she'll go back to being irrelevant. And then I think in a month or two, she'll pop up again, just like she did with this. Cause I haven't seen anything about Alyssa Mercanti in some time. So We'll see what happens, but let's get to Sweet Baby. Sweet Baby, Inc. So their employee, Chris, uh, Chris Kindred, if you remember him, is back. He wants to get people fired, and uh, he's got a history of doing this kind of stuff. Uh, let's just get back on him for a second. If you remember the steam group that Cabrutus made, Almost got taken down because of Chris Kindred when he was trying to get Steam to ban him and his account. Wanted his account banned so he would lose his Steam library. Uh, he kind of kicked off the whole Gamergate 2 thing, basically, and all the media was simping for him, hiding what he did here. It was a big, it was a big fiasco. Well, he's back. And now he wants to get Smash JT fired. Now, Smash JT has actually been attacked quite a bit by, by the video game bloggers. I was going to make a video on this, and then he got his website back, but a week or two ago, he, he started a website called Kotaku Detected. And, and basically what it is is a website that shows people that work for Kotaku, like who works there, public information on the Kotaku website, and friends of Kotaku, so people who stick up for Kotaku and kind of suck Kotaku's ass. And they don't like that, so they, they got it taken down initially. Initially, it was removed. And then about two or three days later, the site popped back up, and he won his appeal, and the site is now running and, and still available. Well, that didn't make old Chris Kindred happy who decided to up his game and decided to try to get him fired from whatever he's doing in real life, which I don't know what he does, and it's none of my business what he does. But it is apparently Chris's business because he wants to get the guy fired. That's why we always like to tell you, and by that I mean everyone that covers this kind of stuff, these people literally want you homeless and miserable and kind of just maybe they're hoping that you kill yourself. 
you'll be fired, broken. I mean, these people have contacted people's wives. I, I think Alyssa contacted Smash JT's wife. Try to get him divorced. It's crazy. These people are insane. This is why they're so unlikable. So here's the detail. Sweet Baby Inc. employee Chris Kendrick allegedly contacted YouTuber Smash JT's former employee in an attempt to get him fired. Kindred is one of the two Sweet Baby Inc. employees that attempted to cancel Brazilian gamer Cabrutus Rambo for creating his Steam list. And those are the details. But now, Smash JT details that Kindred contacted his former employee in an attempt to get him fired. He reached out to a company where I had worked and said that I am harassing and have started a website collecting a non-white audience, whatever that means. I don't know, Chris. I think this is easily disprovable if you go to my website and see that there's nothing illegal here, even though you tried to t- my, get my website taken down and did it for like 36 hours. There's nothing that's not public information. This is all readily apparent. He then detailed that a place of work of mine that I was at like three years ago, okay, and these people, they're very busy. They have professional jobs. They're working hard. Do some research before you start doing stuff like this, but you leave these messages and you think it's not going to get back to me. I don't know. Maybe you thought it would be anonymous, even though you left your name and phone number, which is the same number you list on the website, which is how I know it's you. I don't know what you were thinking and why you thought this was a good idea, but this is going to come back full force on you. You are the bad guy in this situation. You don't do stuff like this. I don't know how else to tell you this, he added. Later, he stated, you are trying to get people fired. You are proactively calling people, asking for them to call back, verifying employment status, verifying why they did things, asking about the website, talking about harassment and potential racism and how it's made for a non-white audience. He also added, you're trying to get people fired because you're trying to justify your position that does not need to exist in the video game industry. So here's the interesting thing about this. It looks like they're trying to contact multiple people that he's worked for. They're probably not just contacting his jobs. Any references he has out there, they're probably trying to call them, probably trying to call family, stuff like that. These people are disgusting like that. Uh, I think he's probably calling multiple places. What they're doing is trying to find out where he works. So they're digging for information on him and calling around. We only have the one, but I bet you he's called other places too. All over disagreements over video games. It's sick. It's disgusting. And it shows you how low these people will go. Alyssa talks about wanting, wanting the industry to speak up for her. They should be speaking out against her for this kind of shit because it's disgusting. Contacting people's work, their family. Because Alyssa called his wife. I'm pretty sure it was his wife that she called trying to mess with him. It's, uh, they're, th- they're trying to threaten him with lawsuits, stuff like that, which, I mean, honestly, I don't think Alyssa even has the money for a lawsuit. They're very expensive. And I highly doubt she would make much crowdfunding for it either. So these people are just very low, and they'll do whatever, man. They are willing to just set the world on fire to get somebody if they cross them. And he's got them so riled up that they're just contacting everybody out there. It's gross. Keep this shit. I don't like this when you go after people in real life. Uh, You recently saw with Eric July, uh, people showing pictures of his house and shit online, all over comic books. Deranged, sick people. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter... Over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications 
like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.